can't believe a client reached out to us who lives in my old house. I like, know. That is so weird. It's crazy. We met when I lived in that house. The home edit started when you lived in that house. Remember the first time we came over to your house and I met your kids and you met my kids? Oh my God, that was actually one of the funniest moments ever because we gave Miles like a cold hot dog <laughs> and he was like, this is the best meal I have ever I had ever <laughs> in my life. And then you realize that we'd be fast friends because you knew I also did not know how to cook. That was the beginning of our low bar lifestyle. I'm Clea. And I'm Joanna. Oh, I was looking at the camera, I'm so sorry. I'm Clea. Sorry. Psych. My stomach just growled. All right, let's do it again. I'm Clea. And I'm Joanna. We have a company called The Home Edit. We are actually professional organizers. Crazy people. Same thing. We have clients all over the country, including a bunch of celebrities. And now we're coming to your house. So get ready. We might know how to clean up a mess, but when it comes to the rest of our lives, we're actually kind of a mess ourselves. Just ask our husbands. Or kids. Parents. Grandparents. Literally anyone who's ever met us. So watch what happens when our mess meets yours. This is Master the Mess. Oh my God, there it is. It's like, they're Easter egg hunts. And remember the first time we pulled up to the house with the kids, Stella was like, do we get all these garages? <laughs> <laughs> God. All right, let's do this. Okay. Hi. Oh, hi there. Hi. Welcome to your house. <laughs> wow. I'm Joanna. Nice I'm to Joanna, meet you. Nice to meet you. Come on in. Oh my God! I just can't believe this is so insane. I don't even know what to say. I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> Take a moment. Take a moment. I don't know. My kids were really young here. It was like our first house when we moved from LA and they really loved this house and it was just like a hard transition for me when we moved. And you were at least 45 minutes away from Trader Joe's. <laughs> I can assure you. That's why I moved because that was really hard for me, but this isn't me. about me. This no. is about you. Well, guess what? Here's what's funny. When I first moved in and I was told that I had bought Clea's house, <laughs> like Cher's house, or yes. Madonna's house, <laughs> and it had been described as meticulously organized in rainbow-hued glory. That sounds right. Just a little bit of pressure. I've worked very hard on a lot of spaces, but the one that gives me the most anxiety is what we'll call the secret room. That's um, what we called it. I will happily organize that room for you. Well, you'll have to come take a look at okay. it. Okay. I guess I don't need anyone to show you the way. Me. We'll follow you. Cue my nervous breakdown. <laughs> This is where Sutton took his first steps, right here. Am I gonna cry for a different you reason? You definitely are gonna cry. All right. It's not like the worst thing. <laughs> I mean. It's frightening. You tried. How old is your son? Almost nine. Grant yeah, loves okay. to draw and write books. Amazing. So he likes to display all his artwork. The art supply situation is out of control. That's like one container. I saw pictures online from when you and your family lived here and what this space looked like, and it didn't look anything like this. <laughs> I actually know for once that there's great opportunities in here. You just have stuff thrown on the shelves. It's just stuff everywhere. Right. We've lived here nine months now, and I've yet to have a housewarming party. You know, it's all those nosy neighbors, man. <laughs> we did all their houses. We did do a lot of their houses. No pressure. I mean, <laughs> they're gonna wanna see if it looks <laughs> like when you lived here, so if we could just get this under control, only the two of you could release me from my crippling shame. All yeah, right, we'll kick luck. you out because yeah. we definitely have a lot of work All to right. do. Yep. It's gonna be rough for me. Guys, this is weird. You're telling me. I like can't stop crying. It's on and off, utter hysteria. So, I mean, my kids love this house especially this room. This was their secret room. And this is where they spent all their time. So hard to be back in like an old house where you already have so many memories. Oh God, just, it's a lot. You're handling it actually surprisingly well. I don't even think I could work. So uh, TBD yeah. on that. I like want to jar um, these in my hand. Hold house. on, a nine year old with pretend oh. <laughs> little play champagne bottles. Oh my God. Oh, and an ice bucket. And an ice bucket. Was the whole champagne party that's happening here? There are also two tiny rolls of toilet paper. That's for when the party gets out of control. All right, you guys, let's talk product. 
I know the space better than you guys. So Sumner, you have to go to the store. Sure. So here's what I'm thinking. I really want to make sure we go with bright whites because there are no windows in here. So I think like white art storage right. boxes so that we can put some of his projects in there. Exactly. And then I think like with all the notebooks and stuff like that, like let's just create him like a desk setup for him. I a big boy desk. Yeah. yeah. I love it so much. Me too. Yeah. Oh my God, glitter. Oh. Literally vials of glitter everywhere. I'm gonna touch my hair, then I'm gonna glitter my hair. It'll never wash out. It's gonna be on my clothes. My clothes, it'll never wash out. The only way to get rid of glitter is like to actually incinerate whatever it touches. Dispose of that glitter like it's biohazard waste. We should honestly all be wearing hazmat suits. Like if the glitter got into, like, I mean, well, I, I can't go down at the all road. times. Certainly in our new office. I mean, based on the space that we saw, I am gonna take you up on that offer. Hazmat suit would have been nice. Oh my goodness. Okay. We were supposed to move into our new office over a month ago, and we were expecting it to basically be move-in ready at this point. But it's not ready for us. No. Switch whoa, 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 what? don't touch what? the door. Oh. I have a tissue. Oh. I'm not trying to get syphilis. You don't just get syphilis like that. The caution tape. Well, that's a great sign. Totally. All right, watch out for the live wires. God. I am. Oh my God. There are holes I'm in like, the wall. Is it even safe? Are you gonna go upstairs? Well, yeah. Joanna, clearly that's where the dead bodies are. What are we gonna do? I mean, I don't know. We're literally gonna be relegated to my house for the rest of our lives. All right, let's focus on the positive. Okay, the good news is it's nothing that can't just be fixed. No, and the bones are amazing, which is right. what we always say is the most important. So it's like, so what? There are live wires. Right, like don't touch them. We're live wires. The good news is it's things that need it's to be- It's cosmetic. At least this room's done. This is gonna be my like meltdown panic room. You do need a large room. Some people have panic rooms, mine's a panic <laughs> attack room. Because like, I'm about to have one now over oh this. These things can go into like projects. Yeah. Okay, so this is all Legos. The challenge of organizing a space is that I have a lot of feelings about the way it should look and the things that should inhabit the space because I already did inhabit the space. So it just makes it a lot more challenging for me. I'm back. Good news is we have a desk. Oh, great. Right. Bad news is no one could put it together. What are we gonna do? Do you know how to do it? Oh. To work for the home edit, one must wear a lot of hats. This is my other hat. All right, here's a black marker. All right. Color coordination is one of our hallmarks. We love it. It's a great go-to, especially for kids. It's a very intuitive process for kids to know exactly where to find the blue marker and where to put it back. If it's all lined up by color, it's just a plug and play method. How's it going, Sumner? Just great, Paul Bunyan over here. <laughs> Our thumbs covered in workers comp. Totally. Oh. Sticky. Oh, ladies. <laughs> Master Carpenter. This is schoolwork. A very chic little Pan Am inspired suitcase. Oh yeah. With his passport. Yeah. Ah, Sorry. So satisfying. Look how many hats are in here. Ooh, but look, it gets way better. <laughs> oh my God, so nervous. That's like Sumner. scary. That's like legit scary. Okay, one more time. Okay. To work oh for the home the edit, opens. one just... has to wear many hats. Oh, the mouth opening is <laughs> so freaking scary. I love it so much. I mean, it fits. Well, we can go this way. Personally, I like the way that looks better. Okay. Right. I think those look nice. These will actually hold more too. Only problem is we don't have lids. That's fine. We're not stacking, so that that's doesn't true. Matter. Let's go with this. Exactly. For a nine-year-old boy, it's just gonna be easier for him to grab an open bin, grab whatever he wants out of it. All right, guys, let's get it in. The space is almost done. It really is coming together. I'm happy with the way it looks. I think it's gonna work for them. I did not expect to be such an emotional mess. I'm used to being a mess, just not an emotional mess. That little desk looks pretty cute. It does. Okay, are we happy? I really like it a lot. Clea, how are you doing? This was really rough. But you know what? It was also really good. 
because we got to come full circle. We did. Even you, Sumner. This is where you started your career at the <laughs> Home Edit too. The whole company was started here. Even that makes me emotional. You did a great job. Monica's going to love it. Let's go see. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, I'm <laughs> holding you. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's Clea and Joanna. Oh my god, you're so sweet. What's your name? Yes. Yeah. What do you love about this? Um, that it's in my mail order. Yeah. Of course. Like, what could be better, right? Nothing. <sighs> Whatever sparks your creativity in the moment. We also gave you space for, like, your art projects. Like, yeah. all the things that you create, you can, like, put them in here. You have bins for days. For all your journals oh and notebooks, since you have, like, 300 of them. Yes. I know. It's light and bright, and it it's is. not dark and dungeony. And he's got an adult desk. Yeah. It's actually your size, and right. you can grow into it. Okay. Like, we can sit at this desk. No, this it's, is, it's for an adult. I can come up here and yeah. do glitter projects. <laughs> no, you can't, Mom. I don't like glitter. <laughs> Grant, you are hired. Grant is a perfect child. He literally could have come from my loins. Don't ever use that word. What do you think? I love it. This room was like the final yeah, scary place. Yeah. But now it is just perfection. It's kind of fun to put like a new spin on an old classic. <laughs> the truth is though, like three years later, I feel like we kind of did it better today. Uh, to a new beginning, to um, a fresh start. To Clea and Joanna. To Clea and Joanna creating love the of him. perfect playroom. Oh! Mom, I think we can finally have the housewarming party now that Clea and Joanna actually came over and organized. And created the whole some house. magic. Yes. Mm -hmm. I need you to write in one of my notebooks. Oh my god, it's like an autograph? <gasps> yeah, like an oh autograph. Oh my gosh. Oh, you are the Grant. cutest human in the whole world. So cute. Honestly, had kind of an emotionally challenging day. It was a big roller coaster for me. And seeing Grant come in, he was so genuinely happy, and I was able to kind of I don't know, have closure on a space that I didn't even know I needed closure on. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Can I finish yours?